Another one. That's right, Apple has just released iOS 18.6.1 and it's a little bit different than the others. How is it going, everybody? You're watching Then About Tech, and that's right, Apple has just released yet another software update, iOS 18.6.1, and as you probably already know by now, especially if you follow me, you know that three-digit software updates generally mean we don't get a lot of new stuff. Generally, we don't get new features. Those are small software updates, but in this case, it's slightly different because this software update actually has more to do with the Apple Watch than to the iPhone itself. Actually, it has everything to do with the Apple Watch because alongside iOS 18.6.1, Apple has also released watchOS 11.6.1. And I don't know if you've been following this whole story, but the thing is, since last year, the beginning of last year, Apple's been kind of in a fight, let's call that, with another tech company called Massimo, or Massimo, I don't know exactly how to pronounce that, and it all has to do with patents. So this other Massimo company has some patents related to a sensor right here on the Apple Watch, the blood oxygen sensor. So because of that, Apple has actually lost a lawsuit and because of that specifically, the Apple Watch Series 9, Series 10, and Ultra 2, the American models, so just the American models of those specific models of the Apple Watch, so the LW-A, so just those three specific models, the American models, so just to be very, very clear, uh, they had the feature disabled. So if you were to buy one of those Apple Watches in the United States, the, the feature, the blood oxygen monitoring feature, it just didn't work. It was completely disabled because of that. So a year and a half have gone by and then Apple finally found a way, figured out a way to solve this problem. And the way they fixed it is with a software update, iOS 18.6.1. So this software update is solely to fix this issue. So how is this going to work now? And it's actually very, very clever if you ask me. So from now on, the American models of the Series 9, Series 10 and Ultra 2 will work a little bit differently with this feature of blood oxygen monitoring. So uh, starting right now, after you update your device, if you have an American one uh, and you go ahead and start the monitoring process, instead of everything, the whole process happening right here on the Apple Watch, a part of it will actually happen on the iPhone. So you start the monitoring process, it'll get all of the data with the sensors, great, and then it will send all of the information to the iPhone and then the iPhone will process the information and display the information to you. So your oxygen level number there. So instead of the whole process happening on the Apple Watch, it's gonna happen partially on the iPhone. And as a matter of fact, you won't be able to view the result on the Apple Watch, only on the iPhone. Again, only for the Series 9, 10, and Ultra 2 American model. So if you have any other Apple Watch model, like older one, even if it's American, nothing will happen to you. And if you have, like, let's say this Ultra 2 is Brazilian. So it's the Brazilian version, I live in Brazil. So I never had any issues with that because it's just the American. So if you are anywhere around the world and if you don't have those three specific models, nothing will change. This software update is really solely intended for this. So right now you're probably thinking, so there's absolutely no point updating because if you don't have one of those models, if you are not in the United States, like nothing will change. And not really, because even though this software update doesn't bring any new features, um, there are no bug fixes, no security updates, nothing like that. But as I always tell you, just the fact that you are updating your iPhone sometimes will help you with your overall experience. Sometimes your iPhone has a bug here and there, battery is not so great, it's a little bit, it's draining a little bit. Sometimes you have some issues with some applications. So just the fact that you update your iPhone, it will of course reboot your iPhone, reinstall the operating system. So just this reboot process, sometimes, a lot of the times, will actually give you a better experience, all right? So that's pretty much it. So of course, my recommendation here is do update, go ahead and update your iOS 18.6.1. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.